All right, I'm going to show you guys my Perception Sport Access 11.5 kayak I bought on Craigslist for a couple hundred bucks. And what I've done to rig it out. And I've got a lot of ideas from all you folks on uh, YouTube, so check it out. Uh, right up front I've got an 8-inch hatch I installed. The fishing model does uh, come with the hatch on the Perception Sport. I put a bunch of pad eyes around the front to tie my milk crate down. This is my sail. I made a sail for, I don't know, maybe $10. Bought the fabric at Joann's Fabrics. Hooks uh, across the front end to these two footman's loops. And these are my sheets, my sheet ropes, which uh, go back to these pad eyes up to these pulleys and back so I can adjust the sail to a 90 degree angle. Extra Scotty mount that I had laying around. I don't know what to do with it yet. Maybe I'm going to place it right here where that mount is. Uh, got these Scotty mounts here and I actually use these for outriggers. I uh, made a set of outriggers just like they have on yakgear.com but I didn't pay the $170. I made them myself. So I also uh, double these up as extra rod holders. I've got a rod holder here that points back for when I'm trolling. This is my foot steering mechanism for my rudder when I'm sailing or when I'm trolling or paddling, especially in a current or heavy wind. It's invaluable. And it just pops right out. I just pull these uh, PVC pipes right out of the rod holder mount and uh, it's removable. removable. Got my little compass here. Right here is where my uh, depth finder sits. It's got a round mount. It fits right down in there and I just strap it down with a piece of bungee cord. So I've got a nice little depth finder. Um, right here under my knees I put some strap eyes with some uh, clips so I can keep my pliers and fish grips, things of that nature. My depth finder battery actually goes right here into this little uh, hatch cover. There's my transducer down in there. I have a little uh, 12 volt 8 amp hour battery fits right down in there. And I put that in there like that. I like this Yak uh, not only because it was cheap but it has a nice back rest on there. My anchor trolley is here on the side, as you can see. Uh, got a zigzag cleat here. And I keep these stainless steel connectors on here just so I have extra room. I picked up a uh, downrigger off of Amazon for 40 bucks. So there's my downrigger for when I go deep ocean fishing. I also put a 4 inch hatch in the back for access to my rear. Uh, area behind the seat. Had these foam golf balls. I made some uh, scupper hole plugs. Don't really need them here in South Florida. But you never know. It does get cold down here. And uh, here's my rudder. Basically I screw my flag in here which I have um, a flag pole with a couple of blaze orange flags and in the top I push a uh, Silume nightstick in it to give me some lighting and I made this to where it flips up and down if I come in and hit the beach it'll just flip up and I didn't drill any holes into my transom what I did was I just mounted it with the skeg bolts here and hooked the uh, top piece underneath of an eye bolt and it's as sturdy as a rock it doesn't move and I've got about 60 degrees of travel there of course you can see my feet steer the thing and of course everywhere I've got rod holders I've got leashes and my paddle and so uh, that's my poor man's yak set up and I want to thank all you guys for giving me a bunch of great ideas and next I'll show you my uh, milk crates that I made for this thing all right, these are my milk crates for my yak. This is the one for the front. Got some flotation on it. 
Also, I put some bungee cords to hold stuff in there. I got my drogue chute, some extra line. I uh, made a bunch of kingfish rigs and I keep them in these plastic containers so they don't get all tangled up. What actually works great are these uh, handy wipe, disinfectant wipe things. A small pool noodle wrapped full of kingfish rigs fits perfect in there. I also made a uh, fish bag out of a truck window reflector. Four dollars at Walmart, heavy duty. Put some uh, Velcro here to where it seals up. And uh, put a couple of liter bottles of ice in there, frozen ice, and it lasts all day, keeps my fish cold. This is my other crate for the back. Got a fish holder with a leash, my billy club here. Got a collapsible net here. Some reflectors, obviously, for at night. Um, got an extendable gaff here that I made out of a paint handle. Just bent it and uh, sharpened up the end of it there. Need a little oil on it, obviously. And I've also got my Hawaiian gaff that just comes right out of there. I made this fish crate to be a double crate. Um, underneath I keep my tackle, uh, rod, accessories, um, hooks, sinkers, what have you, and my Plano boxes. And then in the top I keep stuff that I use constantly. I've got some extra uh, straps here for my rods so I can tie down. Trusty old cooler beer cooler, uh, wire, pliers, fish grips, more wire. This I keep around my neck. It's got a knife and a pair of pliers on it along with my phone. Got some rigs that I made up here. Sunscreen, another smaller drogue chute. Right here I've got a fillet knife, piece of rope, uh, some leader bunch of leader. I also keep a flare right here and a piece of uh, chamois cloth to wipe the boat down. I also made a chamois cloth sponge for my bilge. This is a piece of chamois cloth. I sewed it up and I've got four sponges in there and it keep it in there. I throw it in my uh, front hatch on my yak just to keep the water out if I need, if I get any water in there I, I use that to uh, as a bailing device. So there you have it. Those are my milk crates and you guys have seen my yak and I just want to thank everybody for all of the good tips and all of the great uh, videos out there that have allowed me to learn a lot and copy some of your ideas and I appreciate it. Thanks.